our world is made of certain materia and every person is like a maker, is like an artist to use the materia that is ahead of him, like the carpenter that will use the wood, the builder that will use the stones. And in front of us, there are billions of opportunities to make great changes and to reveal the shine and light and character of our souls. Two people that, two carpenters that will build the same furniture will bring out a total different furniture in the end. They will choose a different wood. They will cut in different angles. They will make it in different style. And they will also send it to a different buyer or a happy customer across the sea. Our work is the work of an individual. And as an individual, we must remember that our unique light, our inner shine is what that is required and needed from us to deliver. Because if someone comes to you, it's not a table that he needs. It's that table that you will make for him. And sometimes when people goes on a certain route, they forget their individuality. They fall sometimes into a place of being focusing in themselves, being selfish, God forbid, self-centered, and losing their creativity. But in the same path, you fell from the light of your soul from shining into a place of darkness that you felt that you were in a great need. And therefore, you started to demand and claim things for yourself and fell into that pit of loneliness and selfishness. In the same path you fell, you should climb back and rise by shining the light of your individuality, shining the light of your unique and bright soul, expressing the talents, the abilities, and the qual qualities that has been treasured by the Creator inside of you. Therefore, we should never be scared and afraid to express our feelings and our emotions, our sense of humor, our passion and our desires. And this is why the verse is saying, Karov Adonai lechol ko'av, lechol asher ikre'u ve'emet. That Hashem is close to everyone, to everyone who will call Him with truth. And that call of truth is the call of your soul. Because our soul is godly and God is the God of truth. And when we're expressing the truth, we are expressing the light of Hashem. We're expressing the light of the purpose, the essence and reason for our creation by being the one that we are. And this is why we're calling Hashem, Hashem. We're calling Hashem that His name is actually written in Yud and then the letter He and then the letter Vav and then the letter He, that there is a way to pronounce that name, but we're not pronouncing that name. And our holy sages forbidden us pronouncing that name until the day of redemption, when we will stand pure and complete in front of Him, we'll see Him and then we will know and remember how with great awe and love to pronounce His name with great honor. But until that time, we're not allowed to mention His name in vain. And therefore, we're calling Him the name. In Hebrew, you say Hashem. And what is that symbolizing? What it is 
coming to remind us. Because every one of us, we are also being called in a certain name. Me, you're going to call me Dro Moshe. Another person, you're going to call her Antoinette. You're going to call her Emuna. You're going to call her Ariela, Doris, Miriam, Rivka. You're going to call every person in his name. And what is that name? Are you Dror Moshe and that's it? Are you Miriam and that's it? Are you Rivka and that's it? You are Rivka, that's it? No. You're all the things that are inside Rivka. Rivka is like a basket, is like a bag that contains within it the essence of your experience, of your life experiences, of your conclusions and your wisdom that came out of life, of your inner light that shines, of the situations and things that happens to you in life. All your life journey is inside that name of yours. So when you will think and find your true self within that basket from all your life experience, and from all your situations, and from all the conversations, and from all things that happened to you, and conclusions you came up with, you're going to find what the name Rivka is all about, what the name Dro Moshe is all about. You're going to understand yourself. And when you're going to find your name, you're going to find the name. Your connection to Hashem, the name, is through your name, is through your own inner channel through your own path and while and by being honest, sincere, truthful and loyal to the truth, to the core of truth with no exceptions, with no discounts, just putting all you have in one basket, looking for the truth and the word truth in Hebrew is written with Aleph, Mem and Taf, Emet. And Aleph is the first letter. Mem is the middle letter in the Aleph bet. And Taf is the last one to represent and show us that the truth is covering all particles of creation. And it's one. It's one in its attachment to the purpose and essence of its creation. So when you're going to understand the truth, simple truth about yourself, who you are and what you're here for, and why you've been blessed with this color of skin, this accent, this family, that area that you were born into, that society, community that you're part of, and on. All the details, why you wear jeans and not a tuxedo, why you are a woman and you're not a man. All those questions, when you're going to find the truth about them, you're going to find Hashem inside of them. And when you're going to find it all, you're going to know all about Hashem. The way to know Hashem is by knowing ourselves. Means by being truthful about who we are. Mideda beribo zachor ezkireno od. While I'm speaking about Him, I'm remembering Him more. When you speak about the truth, you're speaking about Hashem. Even if you're just saying the truth, where are my car keys? Oh, I forgot them in my bag. If you forgot them in your bag and you just said it and it's the truth, you said something about Hashem. Because Hashem Elohim Emet. Adonai Elohim Emet. God is the God of truth. Your God is the God of truth. So look for the truth and you shall find God. May Hashem bless us all. Amen.